Well, I think we'll leave the truck here at the back of the house and take a walk to the garden. The hose goes through the woods up here and up and over. The old man that lived here before I did had a garden right here. Of course, it never grew anything because there's no sun. I don't know. People just never went to school, I guess. Anyway, so over the river and through the woods, I built this road by cutting trees out of the way. And little by little, I've been improving the forest that I have by taking the dead trees out and the suppressed trees out. Maybe I can show you a suppressed tree. Oh, there's a little one right there. Look, the top of it is way under the canopy of the other trees. It's dead for all practical purposes, so take it out. Sometimes I have a lot bigger trees than that I've taken out. I've also fertilized and done some liming in my woods to stop oak wilt. You know, a healthy tree doesn't get sick. And uh, if you look at where there's a lot of oak wilt, there seems to be an association between that and the density of trees and especially on sandy, crappy, low fertile soils that are droughty. So I did the same thing in Louisiana with pine trees. I stopped the pine beetle with a little bit of healthy thinning and a oops, <laughs> I stumbled and a little bit of fertilizer. I'd done that three years before the pine beetle hit in three regions of the state for a different purpose. But when the pine beetle hit, all of the trees in all three places were dead, except for mine. And mine made up over a hundred acres of land. And the pine beetle would kill everything right up to the border of my plots. And then there would be no dead trees. Pretty dramatic demonstration of what the problem was. Similar problem here. Oak wilt is natural and it's probably been here for 50,000 years or more. It cycles in and out as the timber cycles. And we can mitigate the problem by simply keeping our forest land healthy. You can see I've thinned right in here. And I can drive a pickup truck around in there now. The trees are actually, you can't see it on film I'm sure, but the trees actually feel stockier. You know, like a strong athlete compared to a skinny wimpy. Here's the garden. I jugged it together over time. I have a pile of split rail fence the neighbor gave me. I have 450 roughly asparagus plants. And uh, let's see, maybe I can delay picking until tomorrow. Problem is, once they get like this, it's time to get them out of there so that more can grow and so that they're still tender. Those great big fat ones I made from good fertilization, but they gotta be tender. And they are. I put a little net wire netting around part of the garden where the deer might bother me. Planted 250 peppers the other day. I got cucumbers planted. I got pumpkins planted. I got all kinds of stuff planted. And green beans. And I've got oh, another 100 feet left to plant. I was going to do it in a rotation, so I'm waiting. See that little green stuff? Weeds. There you go. 
Well, I got to hold all of that. If I do it tomorrow or in the next couple of days, I can do it in just a couple hours. Got to do it. Now, here's an interesting project. I'm going to try to make a pumpkin patch. And what I did is I marked some lines. I sprayed some chemical that is grass killer and mixed with Roundup. And I'm going to wait a little while and I'm going to rip a hole in the side. I'm going to plant corn and pumpkins and see if the deer leave it alone. I think they will. But I won't get any growth here, although I'll be able to water it. I won't get any growth here to speak of if I've got to compete with this prairie grass. It's rhizomatous. It's a bitch. So I'm going to minimize my tillage but I've got to spray the grass to kill it. Everything in the garden was done with a hole. My property goes to the top of that tree line over there. It's long and narrow, shaped like a pizza pie, so I got a lot of distance, but only a few acres. I've only got 16 acres. But I like the garden. We'll produce an awful lot of stuff, and then we'll just give it all away what we don't save in our freezer. And this is not my wife's garden. She says our garden, but she doesn't ever come out here. Only if she's showing off to her friends my hard work. Okay, there we go. Back to the house, the computer, sit on my butt. <laughs>